Hi everyone, welcome to Awesome Beauty. Today we are going to be talking about lip scents. We're going to be doing a step-by-step -step application demo um, with tips and tricks that I have learned over applying it, debunking a couple of the, the myths or the application things that um, are kind of harder to understand when you're just reading it on a little pic collage on my Facebook group. Uh, we'll be going through a true wear test afterwards. We're going to put these lips through whatever I can think of. I am going to try to do this video in one run so that way there's no editing or people going, well, what did she do behind the scenes when the camera was paused? We're going to do this all the way through. I've done this a couple of times. I keep running out of room on my memory card, so we're going to try this. So, first of all, Lip Sense is a long-wearing, kiss-proof, fudge-proof, waterproof, everything-proof lip color. It is a cosmetic-grade alcohol, and um, it's just the best lip color out there and I say that from experience I have a lip I am a makeup addict my favorite things are blush and lip color um the lip liquid lip trend was strong in 2015 and 2016 so far um everybody and their brother have one I tried them all and this is the best one by far right here I have a brand new tube of crimson red you can see that it's never been opened right here and you know it means a lot when I say that this is the only thing I've worn, not this color, but lip sense is the only thing that I've worn for two months straight. I love it. So since it is alcohol based, it is a little drying. So we do have the gloss that goes on top of it. Glossy gloss is our most hydrating gloss, the one that I like the most. We do have other ones, pearl, sand, glitter, rose, orchid, things that will give you like a different effect on top of your lip color. Um, they're all hydrating. They're all really, really great. I have Orchid. I'm about to order Rose, um, but I really like Glossy Gloss, and it is a must for beginners because it has shea butter. It is really, really thick. You can see that bubble inside just kind of move around. Um, it's really, really thick. It's going to permeate um, through all three layers of lip scents and really get down in there to your lips and keep them hydrated with an alcohol-based color. That is something that you want, but it has to be alcohol-based in order to make it last. Um, a lot of liquid lipsticks, for some reason, are a little creamy, and they just don't last. And then other ones are alcohol-based, but the thing that goes on top of them really just kind of sits on top and doesn't get all the way through and hydrate your lips, so then it flakes off. So, best thing to do when applying your lip scents is to have everything with you. You want to be ready. So you've got your lip color, your gloss, you've got a mirror right here. I've got a mirror right on the other side of here. I'm not going to turn around so I don't blind you. You're going to want some sort of wet towel or paper towel. I prefer paper towel. Um, you don't want to use Kleenex or anything else like that because they have lotions and things like that in there. You don't want. And then you want a dry paper towel. So first things first, you want to shake up your lip scents really, 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 really well. And since this is a new one and because I'm OCD, I shake it up a lot. You can shake it up against your hand. Um, you can go full maraca style and do whatever you want to do. But every time before you apply your lip sync, you really want to make sure you shake it up really well to get the color and pigment through it, to get the alcohol moved around so you don't get a blotchy finish. So we're going to shake it up really well because I just feel like it has to be shaken up really well. I'm going to talk you through part of this because once I start putting it on, I can't put my lips together. They'll stick together. So I'm going to talk you through part of this and then... It'll be really quiet and awkward, but again, I don't want to edit this because I want people to see it all the way through. You'll see me make some weird faces, some weird angles, and then we'll get back into it after we're done. So we're just going to clean off our lips. And this is going to help get any powder, concealer, foundation, any dry skin, any chapstick, anything like that you had on. Not chapstick, lip balm. You do not want to wear chapstick while you're doing this. I will do an exfoliation video later and explain to you why. You're going to come in with your dry paper towel, patch your lips dry, and because we want it to stay really well in our waterline, we're going to get inside the waterline, and then after that I'm going to leave my mouth open and I'm going to start applying. You're going to see me crack this open and start applying it. I have never <laughs> tried this color before, so we're, fingers crossed, I picked the right one to do this with. Um, let's get started. So I'm going to do my waterline, and then I'm it's going to be quiet here for a minute.
I'm gonna go around and do the edges real quick. Okay, all done. Sorry that was so quiet. Goss, goss. There we go. I'm going to clear it. Can I eat your eye? Adding my finger. I Pack it on. Cut it. Try to do this quick. Oh, I missed a spot. I keep missing the tube. I think it's because I'm nervous. Okay. There we go. Glossy gloss is on. Oh, you can see red color and there's nothing on the applicator. I just put gloss on. It's not going anywhere. Okay. So this is crimson red. So I don't know if any of you saw. You are only supposed to go one direction and you're only supposed to do one swipe. You just can't go back over it. That is the big key. So I go across the middle, then I do my inner waterline, and then I take the tip of the, my lips since fell, but the, the applicators are the same. I take the tip of it, um, and I kind of go around the edge. So because we have now sealed in our color with our glossy gloss and we have hydrated it, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to come off. So let's try this out. Nothing on the back of my hand. We're gonna go like this and we're gonna like rub it down our face. Nothing's happening. I've got nothing on my fingers. I've got nothing on my face. We're gonna take the wet towel. This is still wet and we're gonna nothing. Nothing. Can't turn the towel around. Nothing on the towel. Do it again. Go like kind of stuck there. So straight on my finger. Nothing's coming off. This is not gonna budge. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's 10.30 right now. It's a little later in the day than I planned on posting this. I will post a picture at the end of the day showing you that this stayed on. It didn't go anywhere. Um, you have each remover as part of your first beginning um, kit, so you can clean up those lines. I didn't get it with me. It's one of the things you should probably have with you when you get started. Um, and you can clean up your lines a little bit so you don't walk around with like a glob right there like what I have because you keep wiping and it's not going to come off. So... We do have a giveaway going on right now. Any orders placed before 8 p.m. tomorrow get uh, entered into a drawing for a free color of your choice. So your order just has to be $6 or more placed before 8 p.m. tomorrow and paid in full before 9 p.m. on Monday. So if you have any questions, just feel free to PM me, PM me or text me, call me at 972 three, four, five, one, nine, eight, three. I hope you guys all have an awesome day. I'm going to be out running some errands with my husband. So I will definitely check in later again with a picture. And until next time with our next video, I hope you guys all have an awesome day. I said that, but I will talk to you guys again later. Bye.